So welcome back uh, YouTube uh, traders of the Trade Pro FX community. So one of you went to this video here and saw the over uh, two digit but now using a manual trading strategy. Now uh, he asked me whether I can do one for using a trading bot or a trading low bot or in the derivative bot. So here is the answer, but now using a trading uh, robot is very risky as I've always told you. So if you are trading, maybe using a robot, you have a good amount, uh, account uh, which is above. So literally, if maybe you have uh, like 25 USD, just make sure you have like uh, 60 USD and above so that when Martingale happens, you don't get any losses and you recover. So if you are using a trading bot, it's then better than to use a, a over 3 a, instead of trading over 2 or under 6 instead of trading uh, under 8. So for the indicators that we will be using is the down chant channels. So this indicator shows us these uh, two of them. So the ones we will be using is the first one. So I'll just come uh, for for the over three. I want us to just remove the lower side and uh, maybe uh, that's good for you. Let's just use this one. So this area here, I'll just remove. By the this is how you come and you can set your 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 parts like this. So I'll just remove that and uh, get left with using this one. So we will be checking uh, trading using the one minute since we are using to trade using it we would be trading using our robot using the one minute so uh what else do we need to add we need we can add something like the mark d uh, which shows us how the market is moving so this is the mark d we need to see uh, if it's we need to see uh add an uptrend we need to see such kind of uh candlesticks so let's let me zoom it so i just want to check a market and then while trading over there you want the candlesticks to form above this uh -huh. i hope we are together i want them to form above this uh, line there i hope you can see what i'm doing so <clears throat> for the one for the fifth the one minute a candlestick for analysis you use the 15 minutes so it is more sure of what the trend is showing so you can see uh, here it's showing a downtrend so i'll be looking for a candlestick showing an uptrend so let's look for an uptrend using all these volatilities so that one it shows good so we want a candlestick showing this uh, this style but now we want it to be uh, closer to this area and then shows up so we continue looking for a market that qualifies but now i want it to be at least down there so that we can know we are moving up so you can see that one is moving down and that, that could probably be the same also to that market we had before so we just continue checking for a good market and then we will trade uh, of wow you can see this one this is one minute it shows this uh, massive well candlestick and uh, that's it which is market is this volatility 51s uh, 1s and then uh, for the digits we are trading uh, over under and then for the contract we want over digit uh, 3 and the candlestick we put it at 15 as it is and then for the stick we will be using one because of the risk management here and then we want over 3 
and then for the take profit I want uh, something like a uh, uh, 6 USD that's good is with the based on the capital we have here so mm -hmm, we can start now and looking at how the market is behaving and uh, we are at 46 it remaining 44 seconds so let's wait for the next candlestick uh, to start forming and then we can see whether we can enter using that uh, candlestick for all over the digit 3 market and uh, we see how it behaves so guys it's very simple but i told you trading using a trading board is the most riskiest thing those who trade manually can testify that trading manually you have to wait for a target but now you are using a robot it picks trades randomly without knowing where when to pick those trades most of them get those uh, profits by luck so let's see the sellers have come onto the market and you can see this candlestick has changed we want a bullish candlestick which is stronger so i will enter that market when i see a good uh, bullish candlestick there so let's just wait be patient and see whether how it behaves for that 15 minutes if it goes bullish we can run the boat so it has started without a week i don't know whether it is going to create a week so see we can now i hope it is not creating a week and then goes down i am sure it will, might go up because there is no week if it has no week it will proceed moving up and we will have a good momentum to make the trades well so uh, first when you discover you are making those wins over uh, one win loss one win loss change the candlestick ticks to two we can confirm now this is moving well so now let's wait and see whether we will grasp something from there so after two ticks it can pick the trades so you can see we have now avoided what was happening win uh, loss win loss win loss win loss you can see how the market is moving very well i want it to continue moving up i don't want it to go down because whenever it shows up and above that kind of that line it works best for the market so that's our first loss yes our target is uh, 6 usd uh, almost two runs we close the trades and uh, one more run and we have already made it to 6 usd completed and uh, trade pro fx printed the six dollars 6.23 so you can see how it's, it adds a very good entry point by looking at what uh, they are you have seen that now the next candlestick is moving upwards and uh, you can scoop trades by just entering the market in that kind of manner so guys uh, remember i have to always advise you that to trade using a trading board it's very risky guys very risky and that's why i advocate for you guys to trade using the the manual trading always use manual trading because trading using a robot is much uh, uh, much you do not know how the trading boat is trading unless you get a very super uh, all, all an analysis tool an analysis tool which is giving you the direction of how the market is moving but using a trading boat is uh, more not safer so always try to do it manually and you can scoop something from there and uh, that's how we trade uh, the digit uh, all over three instead of trading over two it's better you trade over three because it might give you something while trading the digit over uh, 
are three and you get out of the market as quick as possible when you get uh, your profits and always be reasonable you can't not uh, you cannot have the 25 usd and target more than uh, 25 usd and your capital is 25 usd so always stay uh, factual don't just do anything because you can see people doing them online just be a factor of what you are doing and uh, be reasonable trade using an amount that you can see uh, for sure if i get uh, if it was a business i put and uh, i made the i've made the profit of almost a quarter of what i i placed on my trades on all on, on my business i've made some profits from that so in also when trading it's the same you need to be very reasonable you don't need to, to just uh, uh, input uh, outcomes or profits uh, which are not making sense you have 25 usd target almost just a quarter as you can see i'm targeting six usd so we are done with that that's the strategy of trading uh, uh, over digit 3 and using a trading robot i just don't like mostly trading using uh, a bot but if you have not gotten the trading concept of trading over digit 3 that's the simple strategy of trading over digit 3 and you have to have a good capital if you have a good a small capital be reasonable with the target you want to make so let's meet in the next video